Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and today we're going to be doing a huge Dollar Tree haul. It is really full of so many awesome items, you guys. Sometimes I just cannot believe the awesome things that are available at the Dollar Tree. Um, all right, I'm just going to get into it because I want to really try to get my video to be under an hour. I'm going to do my best to do that. So, um... Yeah, going right into it. First, and I don't have my stuff in any kind of order, so I'm going to share with you guys some of the really awesome hair stuff I found lately. Um, I do have these Dream and Believe Bobby Pins by Sincerely Jewels. Aren't they gorgeous? Like, seriously, you guys, I'm in love with them. Now, I showed them in a walkthrough a while ago, and these are part of the um, haul that kind of got lost in the other truck. And I thought I had caught up, but I hadn't. Um, they're phenomenal bobby pins. I just I just think they're gorgeous. I do like to wear bobby pins sometimes, and I just love the word believe. It's one of my favorite words. I think they're gorgeous, and I love the Sincerely Jewels line. You cannot go wrong for a dollar for something that nice for a dollar. Oh, my God. Absolutely, yes. Then, I did haul this actually before, and when I found it, I didn't find it in abundance. Um, I think I only found one and then I found it again. So I picked up a few more because these make great gifts. They're so well made. They actually remind me a long, long time ago. I used to work at J. Crew, and they used to have their hair accessories made in France. It's just really good quality plastic, really well made, really, very, very nice, really nice. I love it. Love that. And then this one. I can't believe, I just cannot believe how gorgeous that is. I did order something that from Shop Miss A that was similar to these, really pretty green um, little beads, like these crystals, and it's much smaller, still very nice, but the color of these is just, it's just dreamy, you guys. I know, it's just a clip, but what? For a dollar, I'm in love with that, and I'm going to wear these. These are so me on any given day, if I'm in the mood, yep, I'm going to wear these clips in my hair, and I don't care if I'm not going anywhere, and I just totally rhyme. Did you guys hear that? I did that on prom too, but do you guys see how pretty those are? Like, seriously, if you're having a day or it's gloomy out or rainy and you feel like being a ray of sunshine just put crystals in your hair that's the solution right there these are so so gorgeous I love them and they're well made again and they're not even just gold they're like a coppery really 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 high-end looking beautiful beautiful barrette I love both of them and you get two for a dollar unbelievable I found these at the Dollar Tree and I was really, really impressed because this is an item that I've seen in Target and it's it goes for a couple of dollars. I think maybe like $2.99, I think it goes for. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm almost positive. And the flavor is called Snoozeberry. You can't really see it. It's so, so, so little, the print right there in that crevice, but it's called Snoozeberry, which I think is kind of funny. Um, yeah, I just think it's funny. It's two and a half ounces. It says zero calories, your complete sleep solution. I bought a dozen of these because my son takes uh, melatonin all the time. But, um, you know, you never know with our move and a new school and whatever, he might have more trouble than usual getting to sleep. And maybe these will help him better. Um, he tried it and he said that it's pretty good. So I'm going to tuck these away for those really crazy nights where I know he's gonna need to get to sleep no matter what. It's a possibility if you're willing to take the chance. I did pick these up, I love them, I think they're beautiful and I'm putting these right in my niece's little bags because they're cute little girls and I think these are beautiful little clips for them. I love them. Aren't those so precious for little girls? I love, love, love those bobby pins. I did pick up one of these. I showed them in a walkthrough forever ago but obviously these were also in that bag of stuff. And it's funny because it ended up sitting next to this pen that my son was like, are you crazy? I am not 
getting autographs and I'm not using that pen at graduation, but now I kind of feel like these belong together and I'm gonna gift them to someone because how cute is that? It's a cute pencil case or a makeup bag and this really cute pen. So it's gonna go in my little gift stash because I do have like a bunch of things that I'm gonna be going to soon and I just, I just think that that's just adorable. I can't help it. I feel like they were born to live together and so they now do. And it happened as a happy accident. And my, yeah, my son was like, mom, I'm a teenage boy. You want me to go to school with that? Are you crazy? <laughs> and I was like, I did, I did, but I kind of knew you weren't going to. Maybe I just wanted it for myself. And he said, yeah, yeah, I think you wanted that for yourself, mom. And I really need you to think about that for a minute. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I just want you to have a happy graduation, my boy. <laughs> Whatever you want is fine with me, but I do love it. So I did pick up a bunch of totes, one of which, which actually is my favorite, I already started using and I realize it's in the car. So I'll either add a picture of it in later or show it to you guys in my next haul. You've probably already seen it. It's actual really beautiful cheetah print and the like inside, there's no like writing on these bags. They're just gorgeous. They, they make beautiful gift bags. I love to buy bags like this and fill them with Dollar Tree stuff that I buy my loved ones and friends. And when I show up to a party, everybody gets a bag full of stuff. And anybody that knows me knows that that's true because I just, I can't help myself. But they're gorgeous, you guys. Like, look at this bag. Why wouldn't you want to buy a bag like this? It's reusable. It's good for the environment. People can put their groceries in it. I just kind of, it's a big, big bag. This is a wonderful tote. It even filled, it had like the cheetah print one that I used the other day at the Dollar Tree actually held, well, that and another bag held my haul. I buy a lot of stuff when I go to the store, but um, killer bag, killer bags, you guys. And this print, you guys know that I love this print. I bought the journal, I bought the little set. I love everything, the inside is blue. It does say reusable, and I love that about it, too. Oh, my God, I've rhymed again. I don't know. I'm the cat in the hat today. But I was actually the cat in the hat in my other video. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm, like, so racy today. Um, I just love, I love this print. I was literally thinking, if I knew how to sew, I would make, like, outdoor pillows with, these, with this print. How cool would it be to, like, have, like, a chair cushion on your outdoor lounger like that looks like that if I knew how to sew I would be all over that because this is like the perfect material to make outdoor cushions with just I just love this bag and the cheetah print that's not here and then blue and orange together like seriously this couldn't be a cuter print either these are all gorgeous by juncture of course and just so gorgeous you guys do you see this like tribal kind of African print it's sort of like batik also i mean that's really high end looking they're really unbearably nice scoop these up use them all the time for birthday bags i think that these are really thoughtful gift bags for birthday gifts you can put a big bow on it you can say happy birthday you could put a sticker on it that says happy birthday and then after the birthday they can peel the sticker off and they can use this bag time and time again i love these kind of bags absolutely Love when they get fantabulous bags. I love that. I did find these. I also found my friend Pamela when I found these perfectly stacked, uh, beautiful iridescent paper trays at the Dollar Tree. I was like, wow. I, I actually looked at them and I was like, I feel like somebody came and took like an Instagram picture or something of these here in the store. And then the next thing you know, I hear my friend talking in the next aisle to one of the people in the store because she's friends with everyone because Pamela is a really lovely person. And I was like, Pamela, is that you? And she was like, what are you doing here? And the next thing you know, I'm recording her stack of file folders. So um, I think these are marvelous. And in my walkthrough that I just aired the other day, I, my fairy treasures was like, oh, those are really good for stacking palettes in. And I was like, that is a really great idea. You can put your palettes in here and 
stack them on your vanity or whatever. They're just so beautiful. Do you guys see how pretty these are? I mean, you could get one or you could get them all, but I had to buy all of them and figure out what I'm going to do with them later because they're so, so pretty. I actually bought the other ones to make planters out of them, which is what I've been doing, but these are not going to be planters. These are going to be some kind of storage. I don't know. I'm not good at stacking them. No, I have them. You just have to be really like precise and patient, which I don't always, there we go. Okay. They stack perfectly. It's just me, but aren't those gorgeous? Even for like a kid's room, um, you could put their coloring stuff in here. They're so pretty. I love, I think they're beautiful for a, a dollar. This is like, these are like $8 each at Staples. If you really want to keep them like this forever, you could always just glue them together so that doesn't happen because that's what I probably will do if I decide to keep them that way. But um, I think these are gorgeous. For a dollar each, that's a real score. I picked up several of these sassy and chic makeup pouches. Um, well, because they're lightweight, even if I move, I can take them with me. And I do love to buy nice large makeup bags for when I do gifts for um, the women in the shelters. This is a nice size makeup bag to fill full of gifts, even if I save them for the holiday season. This one is a mermaid and this one is a dragon. I am moving, but you know, right after summer comes Halloween and then the next thing you know, it's Christmas already. So I still have to start planning for what I'm gonna do regardless of where I'm at. And I couldn't pass these up, you guys. So I did buy several of them. I think they're gorgeous. I think this one is a dragon foot. Do you guys agree that it's a dragon foot? I mean, what else could that be if not a dragon foot? I've been trying to figure, is it like a dragon tail or a, I mean, this, cause see, like, why would this be a foot and this be a tail? But is it a dragon tail? What do you guys think? Cause I, this is clearly a mermaid tail, right? But then this is like a dragon foot, but a cute dragon foot. It's not a mermaid. It's a dragon tail. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a foot. Either way, I love it. I think they're cool. I really love them. And if you don't like this, you could just cut this part off. I just, I like it. I think it's kind of fun. But if you don't like it, just cut that part off. It's made of neoprene. It's a nice size, easily washable. And if you feel like that's just too childish, just cut it off and you have a really cute um, makeup bag that's a good size. These are, like I said, they have like a wider bottom, so they fit a lot more stuff in them. And I love, I love when a makeup bag is a good size. So yeah, I picked up several of these. You could even cut that off if you want, but I... I, I, I love them just as is. I think they're really uh, whimsical and fun. And why not, you guys? I showed these in my walkthrough forever ago. They've been trapped in the other truck, the Jeep. And um, I think they're awesome, awesome dog toys that actually don't get murdered with the greatest of ease. Um, they're pretty good. My dogs actually don't ruin them. They They kind of love them so much that they don't destroy them. And they're just... You could get a good grip on them. You can play like pull the ball away from me without getting your fingers torn off. These are a great, great deal. They stink like rubber, like really cheap sneakers, but it's all good. I've Every time I buy these, I buy a couple. And they don't always have them, but when they have them, stock up on them because they sell out quick because everybody knows they're kind of a great buy, you guys. A really, really good buy for a buck. I showed these in a walkthrough forever ago, and I have to say that I always say this, but I really mean it. I feel like the candles that come in this mason jar have the best potential to smell good from the Dollar Tree. That is my opinion so far, so far, and none of them are, you know, Bath and Body Works quality, but I would, wow, this one smells so darn good, you guys. So... This one, Peach Skin and Mint, honestly smells so good in the jar that there's no way that this isn't going to smell good in real life. There is no way. But hold on. We're going to find out because you guys know that I do long hauls. We might get a benefit out of that today. 
and oh wow basil and hemp also it smells like aveda i don't know if you guys i always call this kind of a herbally herbal essence kind of yumminess and basil too reminds me of the aveda store like whatever they used to put in the in the building the structure as a room mist i love aveda products so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna light this up right now i'm just curious because it smells so good i'm gonna light it now and i'm gonna let you guys know i am in pretty much the biggest room in my house right now though but i do normally normally i burn dollar tree candles in my bathroom but i'm gonna have that one sit right there we're gonna watch it burn and we're gonna see if we smell anything i'm i mean i don't smell anything yet i'm not gonna lie and i almost want to burn them both should i do both yeah we're gonna do both why not because i feel like aveda plus peach mint it's gonna smell really good if it makes any kind of smell at all that looks gorgeous make a wish do you ever like try <laughs> so since this is confessions of a dollar tree addict do you ever try to like catch a whiff of a really bad dollar tree candle so hard that you singe your nose hairs and you're like well that's a bonus because i've tried to that's happened to me because I've bought candles that I'm like, I know this has to have a good smell. It smelled so good before I lit it. And then it has no scent at all. And I'm like breathing in deeper and deeper. And the next thing you know, all of my nose hair burns. And I was like, well, I know my nose hair is really, you know, kempt now. And that's, that's a plus. Like I try to see the bright side, but so far I'm not smelling anything. We'll see what happens though. We'll see what happens. They have to cook a little. So you guys have seen these a million times. I showed them in a walkthrough. They got lost in the back of my truck, but I honestly could not help myself because their packaging is absolutely gorgeous. They look like mini Bath and Body Works candles. And when you open them, okay, so this one is pink, amber, and poppy. It's very light. It's very light, but the packaging is delightful. So I... I got to be honest, I'm pretty sure this is not going to have very good throw because it's it's not that strong, even, even as I smell it and I open the thing. But then passion fruit and peony, very strong scent, a little bit rosy, but the packaging is killer, 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 super duper killer. And I just feel like in gifts, these are really pretty candles to give. And I have to say that this one could be my second favorite. I feel like I would like to add this to some Thanksgiving decor. I think those pomegranates are just so beautiful. They like, this packaging is killer, killer, killer. And it smells, smells amazing. The, the pomegranate lily smells crazy, crazy good. But here's the thing. Why I relapsed on candles because i did i had oh my god this one smells so good i had sworn off all dollar tree candles forever recently and then i was like no 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 i'm not swearing off the candles what is this Be sometimes the candles smell great um the valentine raspberry candle and i'm gonna say this again smelled amazing i loved it i smelled it i burned it in this room and i could smell it from over there which is a lot for a dollar tree candle it did come in a jar, and when I smelled the raspberry Prosecco one, it smells very similar to the um, Valentine's Day raspberry one. So at first, I just picked this one up, and then I burned this one. So I'm not lying. I used it, and I used it for a whole bubble bath. You guys see that? A whole bubble bath worth. It wasn't bad. I could smell it during my bubble bath. I do live in a teeny beach bungalow, and... I'm not telling you that I have a spacious bathroom. I have a bathroom big enough to take a bubble bath in, a poop in, and wash your face. That's it. So my bathroom isn't huge, but in my little bathroom, on the little ledge of the bathtub, I burn this and I could smell it. So for a buck, you can't go wrong, you guys. And this raspberry scented one, I love the smell of. So for me, 
I do have the nose of a bloodhound though. And my husband does always tell me that, that I can smell things like from across the street. So I don't know, but I'm kind of hoping that because that one does have good throw, maybe they all will. That will be delightful because this packaging is really nice. But I did buy all the other ones to gift them. I always say that the Dollar Tree will always somehow get you. Now, these have been around for ages and ages. I've seen them forever. And the other day when I went to the Dollar Tree, I just was like, today I want to buy those. And I was like, why are you buying those? It's not like I found really good makeup. I found really good stuff at the Dollar Tree. But then, these are some of my favorite Dollar Tree earrings. They actually came out on the same little box display and maybe I was reminiscing of earrings of yesterday that were joyous but for some crazy reason I never bought these and then the other day I was like I feel like having those so I don't I even at this moment I don't know what I was going through but I do kind of like them I think that they're fun and pretty and for a dollar I'm definitely gonna wear them just there's something a little different than what I would normally wear and they do sparkle in a different way I usually always wear earrings just like this in every color under the rainbow, big old round 60s kind of hoopy, um, you know, fortune teller, gypsy sort of like earrings. That's my thing. But I don't know. I just was like, I want to try these. So I picked them up and I've been seeing them for, I guess, two years now on and off at the Dollar Tree. And then finally, I put them in my cart. So if the Dollar Tree doesn't get you the first time, they will inevitably always get you. If you go back more and more, pr I pretty much have bought just about every single thing the Dollar Tree has ever offered. If it stays on the shelf long enough, I will try it. So yeah, so I picked those up. Has that ever happened to you where you pass something up forever and ever and ever and then one day you're like, why haven't I bought you? I feel like I love you today. I don't know. That happens to me a lot. So here's an item that is not a Dollar Tree item that I picked up by briarwoodlane.com. And it is called Tropical Flip Flops. It's, this is from a website. They're not a dollar, you guys. These are not even remotely like the Dollar Tree style flags. These are real fabric. Real nice honestly really really nice if I had bought a couple of these I could have made backyard pillows out of these but I didn't think of it until this very moment these are awesome awesome so pretty you can even put this if you have a backyard table you can put like a little backyard table you could literally put it down as like a little summertime placemat if you don't want to use it as a flag like an outdoor doily and put your stuff on it it's outdoor material. It's really, really nice. You guys hear that? It's the real deal. For a buck, you guys, love this. I love, absolutely love this. So cute. I might try to get another one of these. I think it would be a really cute backyard pillow, and I might make that. That's so cute. So, guys, I did get some more napkins. I know that this is becoming... A thing but I did I got more napkins and I can't help myself and I don't feel bad about it I love napkins I just once I get moved I mean first of all if I don't craft with them eventually I'm going to use them as napkins but I do have a big fat binder that I always put napkins in I always keep a few of every pack in my binder in case I want to do some kind of crafting with them but I just can see myself doing something with this print. I mean, it's so like retro and just really, really cute. And you get 16 of them. And I love, I just love, I love these prints. I can't help it. And this one is more like kind of masculine. You could do like a little, like a dresser in maybe a boy's room decoupage the drawers with this one. But I move into Florida um, you know, this type of stuff is very common and very popular there. I might use it for decoupaging furniture. Who knows? I don't know, but I definitely am not passing it up for a buck because if I don't use it as crafting stuff, I will just use them as napkins eventually. But I have a hard time parting with my napkins. 
I saw my friend Pamela hold these and I was like, where in the world did you find those? I've never seen those before. I have to have them because we are going to be celebrating my dog Max's birthday in September. He's born in September, just like me. And I feel like he needs these for his doggy birthday party. And I, I had to buy them. I know it sounds crazy, but we're going to have a puppy party for his first birthday. And look, and it looks like Max. Doesn't that look like Max? I just think it's so cute. I can't help it. I had to have those. And then, of course, you guys know I'm sick obsessed with this print. They, I've showed you guys these before. I didn't buy another pack of these. I'm just showing it to you again. But they did come up with the beverage napkins. So I had to get those as well as the dinner napkins. I love them. Literally obsessed. Love. Absolutely love everything about this print. And again, you never know what you're going to do with it. I actually plan on using these for my birthday. So I will be using them as napkins and I'll be putting some aside. But I did get a ton more napkins. So I have not quit my napkin addiction by any means. I found this gorgeous, gorgeous journal. It's in the book section, not in the like jot. This is not a Greenbrier or Dollar Tree crown jewels kind of item. It says the perfect companion for the savvy adventurer includes lined paper for journaling, packing checklists, international dialing codes, world time zones and maps, tips for security dress, and health inside pocket for postcards, stamps, and receipts. And it says every woman's travel journal. And it's first of all gorgeous. It does have the elastic. I don't know why, but I love it when I see that. And then look at this color. That sold me. That sold me. It's just such a beautiful journal. Absolutely gorgeous. And... um shopping and shipping dress it has like all kinds of different advice for when you're traveling abroad and it's got really great information Con conversion charts clothing sizes which by the way is really useful on any given day it like explains to you the difference between um men's uh sizes women's sizes in other countries and stuff like that it's just good stuff just a table of contents of all kinds of go-to information it has a map it's really chock full of all sorts of information you would need at your fingertips like countries and what kind of voltage they use or what kind of plug you're gonna need good things to know and then again of course lined journaling paper for your travels i just think it's a beautiful journal it's a beautiful journal you could use it for anything though it's just a really gorgeous book to write information you don't have if you just need a book to write in and you see this it's really well made beautiful why pass this up for a buck you guys it's beautiful really well made and this originally was i know it was more than a dollar but let's see i have fake nails on i've never tried to take a dollar tree sticker off with fake nails what's going to happen is the sticker going to come off or are my nails going to come off Place your bets, folks. Let's see what's going to happen. Round and round she goes. And where this sticker comes off, nobody knows. And I'm not, I'm not really adept to this yet. Let's see what happens. I hope I picked the end that shows the price. Um, of course, I did not. It's on the other side. Whoopsie. Originally, this was $12.99. And then I picked up several of these headbands because... Number one, they're gorgeous, but because uh, my friend Gretchen's going to want one, I'm going to want one, and my friend Kathy's going to want one. And what these are, first of all, they're denim. They're so, so gorgeous. Okay. After I bust it out of this packaging, we're going to take a better look at it. And it's a really wide, wide headband. So this one is mine. The other two are for my friends, but I'm actually going to attach it to a plastic 
headband. I don't like headbands like this. I like a headband that has the plastic item to it. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it so much when it's attached to like a plastic headband. And that's really, really easy to do because once you cut, if you're like, because I don't like anything back here. It like makes knots in my hair and I just don't like it. But once you cut this, you just take the elastic out. That fabric becomes like loose and then you can just put it either right over. You could probably put it right over the plastic headband if you want. That's probably what I'll do. Or I'll glue it on top of. I can probably slide it onto the plastic headband. Either way, I just love it. I know I showed you guys my awesome flag already, but I wanted to show you guys that I found this really awesome room decorating kit that kind of matches this flip-flop flag. Flip-flop flag. Go ahead and say that quick a whole bunch of times. So this is sort of an awesome buy for a buck, you guys. It's heavy. That's how much stuff is in here. Like, look, look. <laughs> so I just, why do I do these crazy things? But it's Am Scam product. It has one giant poster, right? It's just cardboard. Four images. Now, those are the little ones, but they're not that little. They're pretty big, so they're cutouts, and they're nice. And um, it has two centerpieces, these cute. So you see that? You don't decorate your cup. Those are centerpieces for your table. And I don't know, but I just love everything in here. Do you guys see all the stuff that you get? One garland. This is the paper garland that you get. So, yeah, you get one garland of sun, then one cutout of sun, then these two cool, like, honeycomb things, these cutouts, this big sign, and these two centerpieces for a dollar. Uh, yeah. Any, and for my very first barbecue, I'm using this. Not for the 4th of July, but like summertime barbecue. Why not? Here, Florida, wherever. I'm in love with this. Even if I don't use it this year, I will use it at some point. I'm, I'm going to use it this year. I don't know who I'm kidding, but you can't go wrong with that for a dollar. That's a beautiful item to pick up for a buck. And of course, like, I will have this flag out or whatever at the same time because it's like, it matches. It's, it's, or maybe I'll have it on my table, like I was saying, as a table centerpiece somewhere because it matches it. I just think that that's super cute. Of these amazing, really hardcore, thick, these are not a Dollar Tree item. They're probably from Party City. They're really cool cake dishes plates you get 10 for a buck 10 cents each i have literally used a pack of these and i've been using them over and over again i put them in the dishwasher reuse them i gave some to my mother-in-law i've been giving them to people they're a phenomenal buy for a dollar so i picked up a couple more because i just want to share with people whoever whoever's house i end up at for fourth of july or sometimes for fourth of july weekend i have more than one thing to do Wherever I end up with, I'm bringing stuff with me to share with the hostess. These will be making an appearance at someone else's house because I would appreciate, if somebody brought me something like that, I'd appreciate it. I would be like, wow, those are nice. I'm so happy to have those. Whenever I get invited anywhere, I show up with a bag of tricks. I can't help myself. I just, I just like to give people useful, awesome things. Now, I did get this for, um, I have another one similar to it, but I did pick this up as well. Because for a buck, I could not resist. And it's also an AmScan product. And it's similar to the other one that I bought, but not exactly the same. And my son is going to be having a pool party graduation party. So I could still use this even though it's already after his graduation. Because he hasn't had his pool party yet. It hasn't really been super warm enough to have a pool day yet. Um, I mean, it has been, but my pool's not really hot enough yet. And they just graduated. So probably after this weekend, we'll make plans. And the pool's getting open in a few days from now. So what you get is, I'll show you actually what you get. You get a lot of cute stuff to decorate your buffet area. You get these little cute um, table signs that say congrats grad, which I think are really cute. You get uh, two of them and it says menu. We don't need that, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I might use that on another, I might use that for New Year's. Look, this is lovely for New Year's. 
and you just put like a happy new year sticker on it i'm gonna use that on new year's i love it because it's very new year's e and i'll just cover this part up or put like a whatever the year on it i can cover it up trust me no big deal i think it's super cute very flashy and then um you get these little place mats for the food like you know so people know what the food is we're not going to need that either but i did buy these because i thought that these would be fun to um put like funny names for the different items like uh graduation hot dogs graduation burgers i just like to do silly things like that because i know the kids are going to think i'm a dork but i'm going to do it anyway it's what makes me happy i'm going to write like um like brain food and like you know brain burgers for brainiac you know whatever whatever i think of that day that's what i'm going to write but i'm going to write something cute and funny i just think for a dollar it's fun it's like a cute little additional thing so that people know that you're celebrating something. Otherwise, it's just a regular day at the pool, right? Okay, so I showed these pillowcases a long time ago in another video, and I actually had put them on my sofa pillow, and I really love them. And then a friend of mine asked me for some, and I had given them all away to the shelter. So I did find a few, and I'm really happy. I'm so happy that I found them because these are going out to a dear, dear friend of mine who I just adore, who I met through YouTube, but she's a wonderful woman. And I'm so happy to be able to send her something that she wants because she doesn't ask for a lot of things, but when she likes something, she likes something. So I want her to have it. She deserves it. And you know who you are. So it's a belated item because I actually could not find it. So it's on its way to you now. I had to rehaul it. And if you missed that haul, I will try to connect that video to the end of this video because those pillows, those these pillow covers look amazing. If you tuck them into square pillows for your sofa, they look high end, you guys. They do not look like they came from the Dollar Tree and cost a dollar. They just don't. They say faith, family, and friends. They're so farmhousey cute looking. For a buck, you just cannot go wrong. You cannot. Speaking of not being able to go wrong for a buck, I did buy, I don't know if you guys saw the other day, I showed you guys that I had bought. Now, could you ever imagine? I just want you guys to imagine me in a t-shirt like this. I can't imagine it. It's so like, I feel, whenever I put on a t-shirt like this, it reminds me of, do you guys remember when I, Lucille Ball um, put herself in that weight loss, like sweat machine? I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about, but there was an episode where she like put herself in this machine, like a, it was like a steamer and she steamed herself inside of it and only her head was sticking out. That's how I feel when I put on crew necks. I just feel like, eh, like I'm suffocating. So I would never, ever, ever wear a t-shirt that was just a regular t-shirt because I can't like, I, I need air on myself at all times. I don't know what that's about, but that's how I am. And it's not even menopause. People have told me like, girl, when you go through menopause, you're going to be crazy. I believe it because I'm already crazy. So like, what? I, maybe I'll get like really sane and mellow, but Maybe I'll all of a sudden start wearing turtlenecks. I used to when I was really young, but I can't anymore. So I did get this because I'm going to cut it and I'm going to bleach tie dye it also. And I'm going to love it. I'm going to totally love this when I cut the collar off of it. And it's just a little loose. But for a dollar, look at this color. And it's a plus size and it's really, really good cotton. Like, I don't know where in the heck this t-shirt came from, but it's just... It doesn't say any specific brand or anything like, like that, but it is 50% polyester, 50% cotton, and it's just really well made, you guys. Like, it's really well made. It's a 2X, so it's kind of huge on me, and I'm going to bleach tie-dye this one as well, like I said, so I bought two of them in case I screw one up. I can try again. Because I do sometimes 
make little mistakes, but for two bucks, why not? I picked up some Gone Bananas Laffy Taffy because my son absolutely loves banana everything and he's gonna love this as well. So I picked that up for Chris. Okay, so on the candle front, I'm about to singe my nose hairs. That's what's about to happen. I smell nothing, guys. Okay, from right here, I smell it. And it smells wonderful from right here. So there is the possibility that, I don't know. Let's see this one. Wait, hold on. Got to be fair. I'm taking a whiff. Wow, this one smells so good, though. Oh, my God. It smells really good. This one is stronger. Def I, I even smell it from right here, which is not that close. I feel like I would smell this in the bathroom. This one, not too much. I, I literally can only smell that when it's here. That's like dangerous, um, clean out those nostrils kind of territory. This one I'm smelling. So if that helps you guys, in my bathroom, I'm definitely going to smell this one. It smells really good. This is amazing scented, actually. So basil and hemp smells wonderful. That much I can tell you. I can sort of smell it from here, just faintly, which is not that far, but not that close. This one, not a chance. Nope. Very, very little. The basil one, I can smell. So there's that. No two noses are created equal, but it's just my opinion. We'll see what how others feel, but there's that. I did pick up several of these. Uh, I also did pick up the red one. For some reason, it's not here right now. But um, one of them is called Midnight and the other one is called Step Out. I already um, actually bought the Step Out. Okay, so let's start over. Beep. Okay, deodorants. One is called Endurance Sport and the other one is called Fearless. Now, those are like the um, soap scents. Uh, yeah, so this smells amazing. It smells very manly, kind of old-fashioned manly. Then, all right. Ooh, the blue one smells. We don't need that back. Really clean. So fearless is like beach manly, really clean. And sport, sport actually smells green, if that makes any sense. It smells like, it smells green manly. So it makes sense. It has like a, like a body dos, um, what's that green soap? Irish spring. Oh yeah, that's what it smells like. Yep, smells like Irish spring. Remember that? Clean as a whistle and they would say it with a brogue. That's what this reminds me of. I love this. Okay, so this one my husband gets. My husband can get the one that I like the smell of more, but I actually like this one too. The blue one smells beachy clean, a little younger, and this one smells da -da 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 clean as a whistle. That's what this one reminds me of. And then this one, which is Step Out. I already told you guys, it sort of smells like cherries to me. It smells like cherries and manliness and it smells good, so I like that. But then I have not yet smelled Midnight and I didn't get to smell the red one because the boys probably already took it, but I'll drag it back out for the next haul. So Midnight, it better smell like, it's gonna smell like, uh, what was that movie, The Roxbury? Like, <sighs> oh my God, it actually does. It smells like a, a night at the Roxbury. Midnight smells like, oh my God, midnight smells good. It smells like, oh my God, this is so crazy. I can't believe I said 
uh, it smells like a night at the Roxbury, but it smells like heavy duty men's cologne. And do you guys remember Fahrenheit, the cologne Fahrenheit from the 90s? So midnight smells like men's cologne, heavy duty, clubbing, and toothpaste, like you brush your teeth in the bathroom. Yeah, this is crazy. This is midnight. This is a good name for the. You know what? I love tag scents. I want to play like guess that scent with tag products because I really like them. They're like really complex. They have lots of layers. Do you guys think that? Did you guys pick these up and say like, wow, that's unexpected? Wow, they're great. They're a great, great buy for a buck. I picked up these sunglass um, clip holders, and these are so great to stick on your sun visor in the car so that when you put it down, your sunglasses don't fall in your lap. They still stay right here, nestled in the loving arms of this wonderful $1 gadget. Isn't that a great item? Do you guys always have your sunglasses? Because I have a million pairs of sunglasses in my car, and I need something to gently caress my sunglasses when I put the sun visor down because I hate when my sunglasses fall, then you throw them on the dashboard, then they end up on the floor and then they get ruined and stepped on. And even though they only cost a dollar, this is the perfect way to stop that from happening. And these are definitely more than a buck. If you stop in at 7-Eleven, they have stuff like this and they're $8. So why would I pay $8 when I could get a $1 one and seven other items at the Dollar Tree? It's a no brainer, you guys. These are a score. I saw these originally on Mimi Sparkle's channel and I was like, ooh, I got to get me some of those. I need that in my life. I picked up several of these colorful filler for bags, baskets, and boxes. And this is a literally brilliant item. It's brilliant. I'm going to show you what it actually looks like and I hope to be able to stuff it back in this bag because it's so brilliant, you guys. You see, it is... A swirl of beautiful, colorful paper that is put together by that little metal claspy thing. And once you pull it out, it becomes this gigantic or see how it has like all those colors and just gorgeous, colorful. Well, hold on. I'm not sure. It does have every color that it shows. The pinks, the whites, they're all in there. Take my word for it. I wouldn't lie to you guys. But once you actually take it out and just shake it, it goes from, see the little spiral, to that gorgeousness. And it fills the bag. And that's a great, great item for your gift bag stash. I did pick up one of these embellished fly swatters. My dog has started opening the backyard door and the house is full of flies as we speak. So now that I've hold it, I can kill them all. Or... Or become like a Dollar Tree dominatrix. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. <laughs> Pay me no mind. I have no filter today. I'm only joking. Okay, so the next items that I picked up, I was like, oop, instant gift. So I picked up a few. I did find these. And these are kind of like an inventory gem, I think, because I've seen these in the past and they're here now. They are activated charcoal pore clarifying facial masks by Spa Life. And these are a great little item. You get three in the box. They're a phenomenal mask. I've used them before. Like I said, the Dollar Tree had these a long time ago and they reappeared. So I'm assuming that these are either back or an inventory gem. But I picked up three in that one box. So I did pick up several of these as well because I just figured that since I do get three in the box, I would pick up another couple of these sets, and I did, um, just in case I need like a little, like a little birthday or a little something, and then I can put some makeup or whatever. And I picked up several. I first of all, I love the size of this charcoal infused exfoliating body scrubber. I just think that these are really cute. They're by Simply Spa. I picked up two. I also picked up two of the. Simply Spa Bath and Body Care Charcoal Infused Mitts. Because I, like I said, think that they're wonderful to give with the mask. I have other goodies that are 
I have so much stuff, you guys. You saw all the face masks I have, but I would start with this and then build on it. And I did pick up these gorgeousness. I'm in love. One I'm keeping for myself. I'm not going to lie because I love this color and I just think it's so pretty. It looks, it looks like a mermaid tutu. It says lather and detoxify charcoal infused bath poof. It's lovely. Definitely really scrubby. I just want to like lay on these. They're really like poofy and they're a dollar. These are not a dollar at Target, you guys. I did pick up a pink one. I am working on a gift for a friend. So I'm going to put that one over there. And I picked up this for that gift basket as well that I'm adding the candle to. The one that I showed you guys earlier. So these items are all going to be in her basket. Plus a bunch of other goodies. But don't those all match really nicely? Ooh, don't those all look so cute together? Plus I'm going to add this in. And what this is is wonderful. Isn't that going to look so nice together, by the way? Plus, I have this for her. I just have a bunch of things that are going to look really pretty in the basket with her stuff. Um, what this is, is hard candy, scrub exfoliating, coconut oil, sugar scrub, instant fix treatment duo. Now, um, this is hard candy 1188. It is I really, it was a, it was a high priority wish list item. I love lip scrubs. I do wear super matte lipstick. So lip scrubs are really exciting for me when I'm washing my face. I do like to use them. Um, this says treat. So this is the scrub, the scrub part, and then the treat part. Get it? There's two different ends. I'm going to open it. It says scrub exfoliating coconut oil, sugar scrub. And then the treat part is rose hip oil and mango butter soothes and hydrates and it says treatment so I do have another one obviously that I'm going to be putting in as a gift but I'm going to open this one to share with you guys look at that packaging that's beautiful oh wow okay so so this is what we're working with here just so I can share and so the scrub is I sprayed so much stuff on myself. I honestly don't know. Let's see. Mmm, it smells. Oh, it smells minty and what's in the scrub again? Coconut. It smells minty though. Hmm. It doesn't taste minty. Yes, I just put scrub and ate it off my lips. It's definitely scrub-ish. It has like exfoliating crystals in it. And um, I did purchase, not with this one, obviously. I mean, with this one, I'm going to do a, a review because I purchased the Sugar Lip Scrub by LA Colors because it is gently, it, it, it doesn't have a lip treatment, but the Dollar Tree does have LA Colors lip oil, which is really popular and very highly sought out after. The mint flavored one I love, which I do have, and I love mint anything. Um, this lip scrub, it says smooths and softens lips. Now I'm going to do a review of this product on one night and then this product on another night because I'm really curious to see um, if what I've heard about this product is true, I've heard that the Sugar Lip Scrub by LA Colors is comparable to high-end products. A lot of people said that they love it. So I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to let you guys know because a lot of you out there, oh yeah, those are my um, Flamingo Nails by Sassy and Chic. And I found LA Colors, speaking of LA Colors, cute little speckled nails to go with the flamingos. And I think they match really well because I did not like the color that came with the flamingo nails, which is sitting right here, by the way. I don't like that pink color, but I love this polka dotted LA Colors. And I actually love the LA Colors nails way more than I love the sassy and chic nails. The sassy and chic nails, I almost, they have to be like flamingo flamazing in order for me to ever buy them again. I will say that much. Now, 
let's check out the treatment side. Oh, and as an aside, I will be using this um, hard candy to compare to the Dollar Tree, which is LA Colors version of lip scrub with the lip treatment oil that um, they also have because I have that already. So I'm going to use that in place of their treatment. Now let's see. It has a slight mintiness to it, all of it. I have to say that it feels good already. Um, it's really nice. It's tinted. It's not just a lip oil. It does have color to it. Um, of course, it has probably a little more color to it than before because I have color on my lips already. But no, it's definitely colored. It's, it's like a pink. See that up there? It's tinted like a rosy color. And it's just a really... I love... I love stuff like this. I can't wait to do this review. So if you're interested in seeing that review, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I did find this really pretty um, Swan Lake Plumping Serum in number 1389. It's super duper beautiful, you guys. I'm not going to swatch the plumping serum because I do find that I'm kind of allergic to them a little bit. And I've been feeling not so great today, so I'm not going to swatch it. But it is seriously a gorgeous color. But fret not, I have plenty of other items to swatch. It's such a pretty, pretty, fleshy, lovely, naked pink color. So, so beautiful. It's called Swan Lake. And honestly, it's a if you love nudes and pinks, you will love this. And speaking of nudes and pinks... Check that out, you guys. This, I'm finally going to get to open it. I have not opened this yet. Do you guys know that I have not yet opened this? I patiently waited to open it and experience it with my beautiful subscriber family. It's birthday suit. It's in my face mask giveaway. And it's in our, mine and Pamela from Pamela's World, enormous, epic, 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 epic Dollar Tree uh, makeup haul giveaway that we've been working on for months now, two months. It's practically, I just, I don't even want to say like in an exaggerated state that it's literally a small garbage can full of makeup. Whoever wins this giveaway is going to die when they open their door. If you love makeup, you're going to die when you open your door and you see the box. Now that it does have the mirror right there and there are the colors and it's called birthday suit. And it does come with these um, eyeshadow Q-tips, but I don't use those. And um, I will, first of all, this palette is gorgeous. It's just, look at that. That right there, if you're lucky enough to find these, is an absolutely stunning gift for a classic, a teenager, just a classic, beautiful, everyday makeup look not really my thing obviously I kind of like a little not so classic makeup but sometimes I do like classic eyeshadows and I can tell you right now that this palette so okay so here is this color right here is right here then here right here is the next color which is perfect, perfect eyeliner color. Um, the next one over is like a gray. And that, wow, that's gorgeous. It's like a metallic gray. Those together will do a beautiful eye. And then you have like this peachy, fleshy looking color. That's pretty cool. You could probably use that even as a base. And then you have this color. So I could see doing a lot of like neutral Calvin Klein linen looks. Just, I could just see this being such a beautiful, classy summer day. I tr Look at that. Those are beautiful all together. Gorgeous. And then there is on the other end of the spectrum, I have no fingers left, but there is this white, like not white, but 
creamy looking color. So, so pretty, you guys. You guys see that? And it's a little bit metallic-y, which I like. And then next to it, this one, I think is probably my favorite color in the palette, is slightly green. I don't have any fingers left. Okay, I'm going to bust out one of these. I haven't hauled this yet either. So we're going to see if this works while I'm at it. And then we'll take a look at that. Of course, it's the thickest wipe you'll ever use. Blah, blah, blah. But they are. They're actually amazing. I know. Mm, those. Wow, those smell really good. Okay. Now, I don't want to wet my palette because I'm crazy. Uh, so that is the second one over and you see that it has like an army green kind. That's a nice color. I, I love it. It's a little bit metallic. It's just so beautiful. Gorgeous. This palette is gorgeous. You guys, I love it. Love it. When I found this palette, I was like, oh, this can't be the last palette. We can't end on this palette. I Pamela and I really wanted to end our giveaway on the beautiful green palette that I did see some people haul. Um, at this point, a few people have found it, but I'm not one of them. And I have to be honest because I am so crazy. I was so excited about getting that palette that I even bought the St. Patty's Day stuff because I was like going to wear it when I found that palette and be like, oh, look, it matches my... I did. I bought it for that reason. That is the reason that I bought it. I was like, I'm going to get that palette. And I, I mean, I'm going to wear this probably Christmas time, maybe St. Patty's Day. I don't know, but I had it in mind to be like, yep, I bought this necklace to match that palette that I never found. And if you guys don't know the green palette I'm talking about, I will, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen that green palette except for me in real life. But actually I think it's fun to put this on with like a red dress or a black dress on St. Patty's Day or even Christmas. This is fun for Christmas with red lipstick and red accessories. And I even picked up, here it is. Now, I think that this is awesome. <laughs> I was so excited. And, oh, by the way, if I do find that green palette, you will be seeing these again because this is this is the stuff that I bought to match that palette haul <laughs> that I, I've officially given up. The the. The giveaway is going to come to an end. But Pamela and I decided that if we find that palette and we find enough of it to be able to do it in the giveaway, we're going to add it to our giveaway as long as we have not yet announced a winner. But we're going, we've been starting to collect everything so we can compare notes on if we each have everything still and if we've given it all away or if we've both got enough of it. Because remember, we're two separate people in two separate houses that have been hauling for two months and we are trying to do basically the same exact giveaway and it's coming to its natural end now. But by the way, these are AmScan products. They were at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and I do think that they're really fun and I legit love this. I, I love it. I love it. I love things like this. I can't help myself. I wish that they had a red one too. So I could have two, a green and a red one. And I would wear, I like that it does that. I love everything about it. So I'm not, ha I'm not unhappy that I bought these sparkly green items. I'm just unhappy that I never found that killer green palette. I did pick up this face brush and it says body benefits by body image for him offers tools as tough as your as you to blast through dirt, oil, and sweat to always keep your skin clean and feeling great. Now, it says that it's an extra large size, dual action bristles, contoured bristle head, non-slip. It has an ergonomic handle and um, care instructions, rinse bristles thoroughly and set on, on its bottom like that to air dry, replace every three to six months. Now... I have to be honest, I looked and looked and looked because it's so heavy. This is such a heavy, heavy item that I thought it had batteries. I thought that it was some kind of electronic item, but it isn't. And I did get um, a scissor. I th actually thought ahead because there's no way I would have ever been able to get that off of here. And I'm sure every single one of these flamingos would have gone flying. And I, do flamingos fly or do they fly? They do, right? I don't know. I guess when I move, I'll find out for sure because 
I'll see flamingos. Um, now, ooh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it's just, even with the scissor, I still, okay, I had a struggle. So this, this is a nice brush. I just took off all of my highlighter. But um, you guys see that? It's really nice. What a good buy. I mean, it it's it's not really that, it's not like, this is not too harsh at all. And I love stuff like this. I don't know, but I think it's just fine for me. And um, I can't say enough about this. I don't know how much this cost originally, but this is a lovely product. And I'm really happy that I found it. And I did pick up some of these folders because they're lemon and you could use it for lemon crafting, lemon, 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 anything. But you get three lemon folders for a buck and it's just so cute. You can put it up in your kitchen, put recipes in it, whatever. Just so cute, right? Isn't that so pretty, you guys? Look at how beautiful that is. It's just, just so pretty. Put your recipes in here. Just stick it in your kitchen counter. Just lovely. You can take this paper. You, basically, it's like six sheets of six sheets of cardstock for a dollar. If you want to even look at it like that, because they're folders and you get three of them. So you could just put this into a picture frame and make something out of it. You could do so many things with this. But I did pick this up for a friend. So um, that goes in the friend box. I'm up for a dollar, you guys. They work great. Um, I use them every day, several times a day. I keep some in my car. I like to freshen my skin up when I'm hot and sweaty. I have a really cool trick life hack to share with you guys. Okay, so I did find these gorgeous singles. They're all the same. They are called Infatuation number 512 by Hard Candy. Do you see that? Do you see this sad little thing? Well, they all look like that. And then... Because sometimes these really pearly, um, metallic-y ones, they break the easiest. So it was broken. Now, one of them didn't break, and I was really happy. But then two of them broke. And let me see, the one that I opened. Where is it? Okay, this is the one that I opened. It was broken just as bad as the first one. Do you guys know this trick? Because I'm dying to share it with you guys. So I smooshed it all back in, right, into the little area, smooshed it down, and then I sp you can spray it with alcohol, but I don't like to use alcohol on my skin. It does make me itchy. So I used my hydrating primer mist, and I sprayed it onto the eyeshadow, and I let it dry. It smells coconutty now because this happens to be a hard candy hydrating primer mist. Um that I bought at Walmart, not at Dollar Tree, because I don't like to pretend like I got things that I didn't get from the Dollar Tree at the Dollar Tree. But I did get this, and it's a small, like, it's a dollar size from um, Walmart. But, uh, so, so I spray it. Now, I could do it again. I could do it again. Um, so all I did was take it and just spray like that. A friend of mine named Constance, who, ha you guys know who Constance is. She hasn't been feeling very well, and she's been off the internet for a while so keep her in your positive thoughts you guys so i soaked it down and then you let it dry overnight and then when you check it in the morning it's it's brand new like it was never broken did you guys know about that it's like a miracle i have so many eyeshadows that are singles that are my favorites because i always love this kind of shiny metallic-y pinky pearly stuff and it breaks the easiest so so, you guys, that is a really good life hack, and I'm so grateful to Constance for teaching me that. I hope she feels better real soon, and please keep her in your positive thoughts, you guys. And then I do want to share this with you guys because I love it and because I am wearing flamingo nails. And, of course, what better day to show you my flamingo flamingoness? No, I'm just kidding. I bought it before I did the nails, but I love flamingos. I can't help it, and I had to buy that. I had to. I have been trying to figure out how to put a, I really love the light that it makes. I think it's stupendous. But what I wanted to do was try and figure out how to remove this 
and replace it with um, a timer light. And I don't think I will be able to, which was a major bummer, but you can always replace the battery and just put it on when you want it on and turn it off when you want it off. But I would have loved, because it is plastic, I would have absolutely loved if I would have been able to put a timer battery operated light in here and put this outside by my pool area and just have it sit there at night on the table or anywhere. And I really am going to try to figure out, because I feel like if I just, I think it could be done, but I don't want to break it. So I might end up buying a second one and testing it out, but I'm just putting it out there. I do almost always replace everything that I buy from the Dollar Tree that takes a battery. I almost always find a way to replace it with a time, timer light, and then I can change the batteries out, and they come on every night at a certain time, and I love that. I did pick up these awesome pantry stickers. I meant to share them in my last haul. They say coffee, tea, seasonings, dry goods, this and that, which is adorable. Pamela already said that was her favorite. I just think it's adorable because we all have a lot of this and that. Garlic, storage containers, beans, dog food, peanuts, salt, storage bags, condiments, crackers, cake decorating, baby food, napkins, straws, cookies, spices, garbage bags, nuts and bolts, hilarious. Um, candles, chips, paper goods, cocoa, powdered sugar, light bulbs, dog treats, and batteries. And the other side, oh wow, the other side is different. That's like the only set that is like that. Napkins, flour, straws, treats, plastic utensils, bread, cereal, soups, candy, spices, snacks, garlic, peanuts, onions, seeds, potatoes, rice, veggies, sugar, two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a note, potatoes, rice, veggies, sugar, fruit, dry goods, crackers, oats, beans, pasta, salt, condiments, hot cereal, and brown sugar. Amazing. I don't have a cricket. I don't have nice handwriting, but I do like to organize my pantry. I bought four sets of these. I think this is one of the best things the Dollar Tree sticker area has ever made. I am obsessed with these. Love, love this. Love this. And I'm moving. So, of course, I'm going to use that when I move. I did pick up both of these kinds of stickers. I picked up a couple, a couple of the set that has the red teal blue and white um truck because i just feel like i'm gonna be doing christmas and valentine diys with this even i see the potential in that and then i just picked up one of these um probably going to gift these to a friend they're very farmhouse they do have all the farm animals they're not necessarily my style but i do see how someone who has like i know someone that has a black and white kitchen and farmhouse decor and i know she's going to love these so I picked those up for her. So you guys, one of the items that I wanted to make sure to tell you guys about is this Glitterazzi set of palettes, the Call Me Sparkles and Center of Attention. These two gorgeous pure glitter palettes, which I'm currently actually wearing as eyeshadow and I love, um, are both gonna be in our Epic giveaway. And although they're not the gorgeous green palette that I was dying for, Honestly, I didn't even think we were going to get these. So when I found these and then I found a few more, Pamela and I were like, this is this is a good grand finale. And then we were lucky enough to be blessed to find this killer, killer item, as well as she found a gorgeous blue one. And I found this purple Glitterazzi dual ended eyeshadow um, that is also going to be in our giveaway. Check our community tabs. And make sure that you are subscribed to both of our channels so that you can get in on this seriously garbage can full of hard candy makeup, you guys. When you guys see what's in this giveaway, you're going to get crazy. Um, so I have swatched these gorgeous palettes already for you guys. And actually, in case you guys are wondering, my eyeshadow today is only these glitter palettes and my favorite Falsies Blue Mascara. That's it. And that was just, honestly, I don't even think that it's like a crazy eyeshadow. It's just like a day wear eyeshadow. You can use these for all sorts of things. They're beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palettes. I found this literally probably two months ago and it's so little that it kept getting lost in my holes and I kept skipping it. But now that I use these palettes 
and I love how they look. I really want to use this gorgeous hard candy. Um, it's called Glitz Stick Baron de Paletes, P-A-I-L-E-T-T-E-S, and it's called Snake Eyes, number one zero. It's number 108 Snake Eyes. And the crazy thing is when I found this, I only found one. So, and it was a while ago that I found it. And who knows if I'll be able to open it. Because again, I'm just learning on my training nails um, how to ride these nails. Like riding a bike, which, yeah. So, oh, okay. That was so easy, actually. So the packaging is super rockabilly, fantabulous. I'm not even going to lie. And the color, okay, so it's still not open. So it is one of those, but if I take all the packaging off right now, we could be here for the rest of our lives. But you guys get it. It is retractable. Okay, I'm going to show you because that's just how I am. Let me know if you've ever seen this in real life at your Dollar Tree. I'm curious to know what state and how, how you like it. Um, because I obviously missed out on getting a few of these, but it is like a lipstick. I just think that's so cool. I love eyeshadow like that. And now, oh my God. Yeah. <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm going to end up looking like Mimi from the Drew Carey show again. Because I'm going to put teal glitter eyeshadow on and the other blue one. I, I don't know if you guys realize it, but I rocked the blue today. I wore the blue and the silver that's what I have on my eyes, but I could see myself adding teal as well because I just do those things and eh, I think it looks not so bad. I kind of love it because if it makes you happy, if it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. And you guys know that I love to be sparkly and I don't care if I'm too old or if it's not supposed to be happening because it accentuates my wrinkles. Oh my God, I love this. I love, love. Ooh, and it has a beautiful consistency. I almost want to put it on my lips, but I'm not going to. But I almost want to. And you know what? It's not really big. You can take this with you. If you're going out and you don't want to carry a bunch of stuff with you, but you want to just make sure to sparkle. And you can use this anywhere, you guys. You could like... Go to a pool party and make sure to sparkle. If you're wearing a teal bathing suit, there you go. Sparkly. See, like, I I love that. I don't know why, but I just, I, I will put glitter everywhere. I have, I have problems when it comes to this kind of stuff. So, um, yes, I just love glitter and sparkle and the more the merrier. I did pick up another one of these beautiful um, hair tie. I call these the phone cord ones. I picked them up to give to my nieces. You actually get five, five for a buck, you guys, by Sincerely Jewels. This is a steal. They're so pretty and beautiful and metallic, and you could even just put them on your wrist or do whatever you want with them. They're just adorable. For a dollar, you cannot go wrong. I picked that up as well. I was able to score some of the LA's Totally Awesome All-Purpose cleanser degreaser and spot remover in the scent of cherry blossom at the dollar tree they do sell this at dollar general and it's a dollar there as well but i was able to pick it up right at the dollar tree just for a dollar it smells amazing if you see it there don't hesitate to pick it up you guys it works phenomenal it's just such a great product i'm so happy that these came to the dollar tree Every single one of these LA's Totally Awesome All-Purpose Cleaners smells amazing. At this point, I don't even care. It's aromatherapy cleaning. That's how I look at it. It does work and it cleans really well, but it smells so good that it makes me happy to clean. And I hate cleaning. So that is a major, major plus in my world. If you can spray stuff to clean your house and actually be smiling, somebody's doing something right. The last item that I have to share with you guys is this Wet n Wild, and it's really by far no way the last item. I have a ton of items. I just can't get to them, so this whole has to end, you guys. Um, kind of like, I'm so ha glad we had this time together, but it's over now. <laughs> that I had to share with you guys is this Wet n Wild Clear Transparent Tame and Defend um, Mascara. Now, it's not mascara. It's clear. But what I like to do, and I had it before and I ran out of it, is it's a lash and brow mascara. So you put it on your eyelashes, 
you wait a little while and then you put your mascara over it so they don't clump. It's kind of like a primer, but it isn't a primer, but I feel like it is a primer. So that's how I was using it before. And I am going to use this again because I did buy primer serum and I was like, you know what? I really enjoyed when I had that mega clear wet and wild. So it's back at the Dollar Tree. And if you've never tried it, this is a great product for a dollar. I strongly recommend picking one of these up if you are one of those people whose eyelashes clump together and you can't wear fake eyelashes because I try to do fake eyelashes and it's just it's not my thing every once in a while I do it and I have them put on individually um it says for natural definition lifts and separate lashes grooms sets brows gel um I don't think that mascara is actually meant to be worn over this, but for me it works and it might as work for you as well. So give it a shot, you guys. And if you have really thick, beautiful um, eyelashes and eyebrows, well then by all means, you don't even need mascara. You just need this clear gel. So I did pick that up and I love, love, love this product. Already know that I love it. That's it. That's everything I have to share with you guys today, you guys. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Make sure to thumbs up this video, you guys, and don't forget to subscribe and even share my channel with your friends if you think that they might like it. Um, anyway, uh, I'm so grateful to you guys. You guys, I seriously love you. I am so grateful. This is so much fun. I love my YouTube channel. I've met so many awesome women on this channel that have become my friends, and um, I hope to meet many, many more. Thank you so much. My channel is growing and I just, I owe it all to you guys. So as always, stay safe and stay savvy guys. Bye-bye.